Welcome back to Let's Play the Brigmore Witches, the DLC chapter for Dishonored. into the pile. Things are kind of hectic just this instant burning dog bands. Great. This side of the fucking statue. Up. There you go, ladies. Sweet dreams. Oh, I guess I should uh, do that. in that direction. pretty anyway. Yeah, nice. Look 
looking around for something I can't see with my naked eyes. Silly, silly me. I remember this. This is where I came in. What? Curious of those uh, bone, not bone charms, uh, pearls that show up there. Oh shit! It's that tap I drank from earlier. Of course, turn the faucet. Thank you, Granny. <clears throat> improve our health regeneration. Forgotten. For fuck's sake. They didn't wake up, so at least they don't have that. Looks like they just replenish their numbers, which sucks. Someone should be here. I want my enemy. Oh right, fuck! I forgot about that. All right, back out to the uh, fucking yard then. Criminy. better at navigating, right? See, that's what I don't get. It can't be physically inside the house, because that clearly counts as a different zone. He 
he drowned thinking of what Lord Brigmore would do if he was caught. I like to imagine he was more devoted than that. He's still there, you know, rotting in the water. Why don't you go and give him a kiss? There's not much left of his face, but you can always imagine there's more. Why do you ruin everything? I'm with you, lady, for what it's worth. Let's look at the cheerier side. At least I try to. I can be a bit of a cynic sometimes, I'll admit. Silvering Silhouette, or Shivering Silhouette. I don't know why I said silvering, that's not a word. Benefit, enemies have a high chance to miss ranged attacks. Penalty, you are more visible to enemies. Spirit of the Deep. Excerpt from a longer work of fiction. Spirit of the Deep, Siren of the Dreams. I walked for hours along the coast, leaving Dunwall behind, until the lament of the waves drowned all other feelings. I wept, knowing you would not come to me, my love. You rule my dreams, where I behold the senses I do not possess in waking life, the dark splendor of your home in the deep. There the ocean rests on your back like a sleeping child on his father's shoulders. In these sleepless nights of despair, you appear to me not as the mighty Leviathan, but as a young man with eyes as black as the void. Creepy. Ah. <sighs> Delicious. Oh, I didn't like that noise at all. Get out of the... I think, yeah, I think I got all of the things. Get all the things. Is the new sister settled in yet? Will she last, I wonder? There's little chance of that. back out to the crypt, because we know that's a less subtle way in than walking in the front door. And as before... I don't think anyone would be clever enough to notice the lever was back. Do this. Set foot inside. <clears throat> I have to save Emily. Now, Corvo would do this because he loves Emily. She might even be his daughter. But Dowd? I figure. If there's anything that can help Dowd make up for murdering the Empress and getting Emily kidnapped, it's saving Emily's soul from a terrible curse. We've got... Three charms and a rune. Also, no one. I don't see a single person yet. And I thought this was a district would come down.
Oh, I don't like that one bit. Do they move at random? That's a skull. Fuck. Such a pleasing shade. Well. I guess I was holding my breath. Yoink. I know exactly where I used to have that little bit of mana, too, on the roof when I was dealing with those two gossipers. I guess I'll go this way first. Goodness, do I not feel safe here. What's the deal here? Denied! In that configuration, they're probably waiting for me to listen in on a conversation before they move to something I can make use of. It's all like hemlock, but it's white inside. White or ready. That's a striking picture. That make for a good screenshot, or a thumbnail rather. That is made a screenshot. The portrait of the air is pristine. I wish you could have seen the brilliant colors. The brushwork is magnificent. Our lady is a genius. Timsha's portrait was only the beginning. A vague mesmerism. But with Emily, Delilah will extinguish the girl's spirit and inhabit her completely. Own her skin and bones. Make her pretty teeth smile. What will happen if Emily doesn't become Empress? Half the city thinks she's dead. Emily Caldwin will take the throne, don't worry. Delilah is certain. She sees things in the void you and I do not. Why didn't she just paint the Lord Regent? He's already running the Empire. She has her reasons. Delilah was raised in Dunwall Tower, don't forget. And besides, the Lord Regent doesn't have a chance. Without the Boyle sisters behind him paying the army, he's a walking corpse. I really wish they wouldn't do that. I know that I haven't been able to knock a single one out yet. I can't help but wonder if they're all deliberately going to the same place, making it impossible to uh, get around in there.
quiet. somewhere dry. Yeah, that'll do. Pretty effect. Shame the room is in such a horrible place. Well, that's one down. Arg, I've used up more of my mana. Blood curses. Never did get the hang of the transition between. teleporting and using uh the fuck is it called dark vision yes except in this one it's called void gaze well I'm burning dog face and uh I'll see you guys in the next episode of let's play the Brigmore Witches. The DLC chapter for Dishonored. <laughs> nice. When I continue exploring the inside of Brigmore Manor, I try to put an end to Delilah's evil scheming. Later!